live radar and nine day forecast. So you'll know first, this is first alert weather. All right, the rain's moving out, but. The rain though was beautiful. <laughs> I know it was chilly and kind right. of ugly. But it was beautiful and, it was, and necessary <laughs> and necessary. You know, we needed it. It was great if you could kind of sit inside, maybe have some tea or coffee and just kind of look out your window, see the rain, see that it was like 34, 35 degrees and not be outside. Now we're on the drier side of things. We picked up between about a uh, four tenths of an inch and eight tenths of an inch. So much needed moisture. Will it get us out of drought completely? No, but again, another nice step in the right direction. We'll take a look at that latest drought status update. That'll be in the next half hour. That's not going to include the rain from today, but I'll get you updated here in a half hour. Here's how things look for now. We do have clouds overhead as we look towards the west. We're currently at 40 degrees, really about as warm as we've been all day long. And we have that east wind at 13 miles an hour, so still a little breezy. So rain is lifting to the north, now moving north of Cameron, heading towards Trenton. All rain in the area. We all have temperatures above freezing. Some great news there, so that should keep our roads mainly wet and not icy. Even in our northern communities, 35 for Trenton, 35 for Maryville. Around the metro, mid to upper 30s, 35 for Liberty, 37 for Leavenworth, same for Lee Summit, 39 in Belton, 40 for Olathe, even Garnett. You're at 47 degrees. Through the evening, lots of clouds. Temperatures will actually creep up a little bit over the next several hours into the lower 40s here, heading towards 10 p.m. and midnight. An east wind that'll start to come down a little bit between about 5 to 10 miles an hour. And you might just notice a sprinkle here and there, but in general, we're trending drier for the remainder of our day. Here's future scan. Some clearing possible closer to Lacine, Butler and Clinton. Otherwise, most areas stuck in the clouds for the rest of today. This is 10 p.m. and then watch as we head towards around 5 or 6 in the morning tomorrow. So here's a look, 6 a.m. Another little batch of light snow. I think as far as it accumulating, that'll be hard to come by as our temperatures will be near or just above freezing. That being said, heading out the door early tomorrow morning, just know we'll get a quick hit of some light snow and then going through the rest of your morning into the afternoon, clouds will linger around and hopefully we'll get some sunshine to move in for your Thursday afternoon. But as of now, I would plan on lots of clouds for a majority of the day. So that chance of light snow early, otherwise mostly cloudy, blustery, that northwest wind at 15 to 25. Temperatures, they're going to hang out in the 30s all day long. Wind chills, more so down in the 20s. So plan on cold weather for tomorrow. Heading into your Friday, we are drier. And then as we get closer to the weekend, we're going to keep an eye on our next system. Nine day forecast shows Saturday, of course, a big game on Saturday. We do have that chance for rain and snow as the system moves in from the southwest and might just have enough cold air to bring some light snow to the area, potentially some light accumulations. Again, we're going to keep an eye on that later in the day. Saturday that could linger into early Sunday highs in the upper 30s over the weekend next week. Kind of feeling more like January highs mostly in the 30s and lows near 20.